Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have an HQ lock. It is a pin and pin style lock with an um, interactive element to it. As we can see here. It is a fun little lock to pick. Um, I mean, just like multi-locks. Uh, nothing else to it, really. Uh, it picks just like a multi-lock. So let's go ahead and have at it here and see if we can get it open and show you what's inside. A little movement on two. Three. Nice solid click on three. There we go. Another click on three. I feel like two was binding there. It was really hard to get past it there. Let's move on. Yeah, three feels good. A little bit of moving on four. There we go. Five. A little tension on it. Maybe it'll help me. There we go. There we go. Five. Five is really low. I had to like really wiggle to get underneath it. One, there we go. One, and I definitely just overset one. I can tell because I can see it. Oh, there we go. Actually, the inner pin unset it and got set now. So I guess we're on inner pins. So I should just be able to kind of smash through here, I think. It's like pin three. Three is a spool. There we go. Pin five. Eh, I think pin five. Is, oh, there we go. I think four is good. Pin two. Need a longer flag. Pin two is the interactive one. I think it's probably pin two. I'm gonna let a little tension off and try to pick it now. There we go. I think pin two set. So move on. Pin four. Oh, there's a little set something. I'll pin four. Barely nudging it. I think that was it. Nothing on one, two. There we go. Two. This two is spool. I think we're good. Come on, 
we're almost there. Maybe four is fully set, so we'll leave that alone. It's not one. I don't feel like two still, but it's not. Feel like it's something I'm barely gonna touch, and it's just gonna nudge it right in the place. So you know what? Let's go through and just kind of mash. Cause I'm not feeling anything. So, so that's not working. Let's let one down. Okay. There we go, pin five. That's what I need to do. Pin one was overset, it seems. Pin two. There we go. There is our open. All right. So see, that tactic, uh, <laughs> or see, uh, sometimes if you get when um, you, you're getting to a spot where you're not feeling anything, just let one or two pins down and start feeling at it again. You'll start feeling stuff, and you'll get whatever you overset down. So, uh... Let me um, get this out of the vise here and gut it. All right, we have it all gutted, and you can see that it is full of spools. So spool in one, three, four, and five. Nothing special about the key pins down below. Um, just, yeah, you can see a really high lift on number one. You can see the interactive element on number two there. So... Two things I dislike, a really high lift one. Interactive wasn't too bad, honestly. And the back pins, they were a little hard to kind of wiggle underneath, but that was about it. With our plug here, nothing special going on. So just a typical plug. You can see the interactive element through the keyway there. Nothing else to really know about it. No holes that your pins will get caught in. So um, always use a shim, but in this one, you are safe. Anyways, that was the... HQ lock and um, a pin and pin with interactive elements. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.